There's been a lot said recently about what impact independence would have on our NHS. So here are the facts in less than two minutes. The Independent Institute for Fiscal Studies has said an independent Scotland will face an extra £6 billion of cuts to public services like our NHS. That's a cut greater than the NHS budgets of Greater Glasgow and Clyde, Lanarkshire, Lothian, Tayside and Fife combined. Instead, they want to scare the Scottish people with lies about our NHS. In the recent debate, Alex Salmon claimed we don't have financial control of it, and that is a serious problem. Yet, in the SNP's manifesto in 2011, they said... The Scottish Parliament has responsibility for the health service, and that means we can protect NHS budgets. And when the Yes campaign launched their white paper in November last year, they admitted... The Scottish Parliament has the power to keep the NHS in public hands. But this hasn't stopped the Yes campaign from telling lies. The truth is, the last Labour government completely devolved control of our NHS to the Scottish Parliament in 1999. All decisions about our NHS are taken here in Scotland, including how much we spend on it. Whatever happens in England makes no difference here. 26 NHS experts, including doctors, nurses, professors and health groups have come forward to slam the SNP's lies. £6 billion of additional cuts poses the real risk to our NHS, but it's a risk we just don't have to take. We can have the best of both worlds. More powers for Scotland, backed up by the strength and security of the UK. So say no thanks to putting that at risk.